Hello folks and welcome. So LMDE6 Linux Mint Debian Edition. Today I'm going to talk about some uh, productivity applications that uh, complement uh, Office or Word processors. Uh, whether you are wanting to uh, install a different um, Office suite besides LibreOffice, I'll talk about maybe one option. I'll talk a little bit about fonts and uh, offline dictionaries and offline thesaurus. And I'll also talk about moving one item like uh, Artha from this accessories area into the office category, for instance. Productivity software, LMDE6 Cinnamon Desktop. You can technically use this also for the Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon Desktop, but I'm filming an LMDE6 today. This is a watermark. It's uh, not your imagination. It is blurry. This icon, though, should be a little bit sharper down here between my off key, my off power icon, and the time and date thing. If you can see that icon there, then you can click to subscribe to Linux for Seniors. Linux is for any age. I make a mention of that in my About section. However, the name of the channel is Linux for Seniors. You can find over 250 videos there on all kinds of tips and tricks. If you do not see that round circle over here, you are watching that on someone else's channel. And you can go to YouTube and look up my channel and officially subscribe there. If you are already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about um, maybe some options. Maybe um, if you don't like LibreOffice, maybe some other option for word processors. I'm going to talk about an offline dictionary called Golden Dictionary. I've talked about this before, but I'm going to do another rehashing. I'm also going to talk about Artha. That's a handy thesaurus, also offline. I'm also going to move Artha from accessories to office. So let's open up Software Manager. So I'm using a regular computer, not a laptop. So I will have a standard keyboard and a standard computer mouse. Double clicking to make this bigger, double click to resize. Click and hold, go full side to side and then double click. So let's talk about Office first. There's lots of stuff in here. If you don't like Libre, maybe you want to test drive Abbey. Abbey Word is a word processor. It also has a plugin called Grammar that you can install. So Abbey Word comes in two flavors. It's a full featured word processor, comes in a system package and also FlatHub. So Abbey Word. All right. We have also fonts. You probably don't see a lot of green check marks here, do you? There's one and two. And I have lots of areas here. All right, so fonts. Maybe you want the uh, true type fonts from Microsoft. Maybe you want to install that. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to install this one. Screenshots. Some things have them, some things not so much. But there are lots of fonts you can install, let's put it that way. I also have um, Artha as an offline thesaurus that you could install. It's not installed by default. Okay. Only has a system package on this one. Does not have flat pack. You can also type in golden. This one does come in two flavors and you'll get lots of hits when you do the golden, but I'm going to click on this one. So I have the standard package installed from Linux Mint. There's also the flat out version. So two flavors on that one. And um, I think that's it for software. So what I'm going to do is close that and we'll talk about word processors first. I'm going to be using the example of LibreOffice because that normally gets installed. You can, of course, think about Abbey Word a little bit later if you want to test drive it. So uh, LibreOffice, currently this is version 7.4. Okay. So I am going to type in the word test, but I'm going to use a lowercase and two S's. So the first thing it did was autocorrect my first letter and then it gives me a squiggly line, which means it's misspelled possibly, possibly. 
right click and then you can correct. Now I'm going to hold down my control key. Again, I'm not using a laptop. I'm using a standard computer, fairly standard keyboard and a computer mouse. If you're curious what I'm using for hardware, it's a K850 Logitech wireless keyboard and an M585 wireless mouse. I'm going to click in here and hold down the control key and scroll up on my computer mouse. I am not resizing the actual font. I am resizing what you can view. If I meant to resize the font, I would need to highlight that and change this. So far, so good. All I'm doing here is what you can see on the screen is resizing. Comes in handy, holding down the control key, scrolling up and down. All right, now let's open up one of those other applications. But before I do that, I wanna actually move Artha into the office category before I play with these things. So let's get this out of the way. Let me minimize this and just leave it there on my panel. So right click on your mint icon, more than likely yours is white, and hit edit menu. You can also change that to a green one. It's very simple to do actually. So in here, this is, may not be everybody's cup of tea, but if you needed to move an application from one category to another, and you can probably see I got a custom icon on games. This is Darth Vader holding a light sword. Not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to click the accessories and I'm gonna find Artha, because I just installed it and it installs in the accessory folder, but I want it in the office category. So be very careful in here when you're anywhere near that delete key. Okay, so just be aware of that. What I want you to do is if you wanted to move something is to highlight the application and hit cut then move to the category that you want to transfer that application in this case office and hit paste and then close this box and then go verify that you moved that so right now artha is in the office category okay a couple of tips for putting shortcuts on your favorites and your panel are this these are my ways and then i'll show you the system way click and drag these things over. Click and drag over here. Click and drag over here. You can rearrange these if you like. So if I didn't like this position I wanted over here, I would click and drag over here, click and drag over here. If I changed my mind, I would click this one and drag it over here. These are single clicks, single clicks. If you want these on your desktop, do not click and drag, otherwise you're going to be uh, restarting your cinnamon because it normally leaves a green square or whatever colored square there is if you're dragging icons on your desktop. What I want you to do is uh, when you're in this uh, category here is to right click and add to your desktop like that. You can certainly do that with all three icons. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with all three or all two icons I should say. Right click unpin, unpin. The two icons, the Golden Dictionary and Artha. So I already put that on my desktop. You already seen that. So I'm going to right click and add to the favorites. And what's, what is it going to do is it's going to add it down here and blink out this menu. That's why I find this a little bit tedious. That's why I do it the other way. So right click, add to favorites. Now I've got to re-click that and it's over here. I can technically move it up here if I wanted to. All right. We have uh, also in here, right click, add to panel, add to desktop, add to panel, puts it down there. You're not stuck with this position though. You can just click and drag it. Okay. So that is why I prefer doing it this way. Now, to me, it's a little faster, but then again, you know, it's your, your machine. So I just do it this way normally and Golden Dictionary, the same deal. And if I wanted Golden Dictionary on my desktop, then I would uh, right click and add to the desktop. All right, I'm gonna get rid of both of them at the same time. So we already have this open. So I'm going to first open up Golden Dictionary. I can do it from here, or I can do it from here, or I can do it from the menu, it doesn't really matter. They're all just shortcuts. All right, this is going full screen. So what I'm going to do is reduce that a little bit. 
And uh, you can also hold down your control key, again, if you're using a standard keyboard and mouse, to resize the text. I've shown this before, by the way, but you may have not seen that video. Uh, I'm just going to type in Viking. So I can actually use any piece of text in here. And keep in mind, these have links also, almost like a web browser. But you can also copy things like uh, text and even images out of here. This is where I was born. This is the country of Iceland. But let's say I wanted the, the text seafaring people. Right click, copy. Another uh, command for that is control C. Okay. So I'm going to close that. And you're probably thinking I closed the application. I actually did not. It's still here. And with that highlighted, even though I do this. Right click and paste. All right, the thing about this golden dictionary, you can also, I uh, think under edit, under preferences, you can also do the startup thing. I normally don't, but you can. There's lots of options in here. But you can also copy images. So as you can probably tell, this has got images in here. Right click, copy image. Close and paste. It's rather large. So I will reduce the size of the actual image in the LibreOffice Writer and grab the image itself and reduce it. So it's a little bit more manageable. Okay. Now I'm going to open up the same application and use a different word. Dog. Now you may not see your breed in here if you're a dog lover, but I'm just going to pick a picture. I'll pick this guy. Right click copy image and paste. And there he is. Again, I can resize that too. All right. So you get the idea behind Golden. Now again, if I close that, it still stays resident until I physically either right click and quit or just log out of the system. If In case I chose to have it open on startup, then it'll load also on startup. Okay, so far so good. All right. So the next item is Artha. I'm going to click Artha and it immediately just goes and minimized itself. So, sitting right here currently. So this is an open thesaurus. So, um, but uh, test drive, how does that? Let's see what we come up with. Test drive, test driver. All right, road worthiness of a vehicle. I like that. Consider buying. <laughs> okay. Test drive. Vehicle by driving it. Okay. We can take any of these things and copy those also. Right click. Uh, sorry. Highlight. First highlight your, your sentence and copy. Control C. Highlight it first with your computer mouse. And then open up your word processor and uh, I'm just going to hit enter. And then I'll right click and paste that. So vehicle by driving it. I could also change the font also while I'm in here doing this to whatever I want. You get the idea? Okay. It comes in handy. Same deal. Close. It still stays resident. Close. Still comes back to the same thing. Now I can put in a new word. Uh, it's got some different options for you in here. I'm not really going to discuss all that. But again, I'm using these as offline dictionary and thesaurus. So you could, if you installed the Abbey word, for instance, would be your other option if you wanted to use these tools offline. So as a recap, like I said, you can uh, test out different applications in Software Manager. You can also install different fonts. You can uh, install Golden Dictionary or Artha. You can also, um, like moving this from that category to say this one, and sometimes, because I redid this video, I don't know how many times, it sometimes leaves the original in its original position. Yeah, you can still see it's still there. So even if I opened it from here, it's still there. And here, doesn't matter. These are all just shortcuts. All right, thank you for watching.